Hello everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 11.5.1.3 Troubleshooting Challenge. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Scaling Networks curriculum. Now, in this particular lab, we have everything set up and configured for us. They kind of tell us some information, like as we're trying to troubleshoot this, how to log in um, to the console password, the enable password, as they said, which is a little bit difficult to type in, I'm not going to lie. Um, but again, that's what it is. Uh, and then what they want for the admin username and password, uh, which we'll learn later, is a C encrypted password, which means secret. Um, for all the devices. We don't have to do any subnetting here, um, but they just kind of let you know what is or what are the requirements here. So what we want to do is go throughout the network and figure out what's wrong the, what the, with the configurations they already have. Now this is the address and table that we'll have that we'll uh, consult as we kind of go through that. All right. So a lot of things that, that I like to do is go through and make sure first that your cables are correctly plugged in, right? So um, as we're kind of troubleshooting, what we like to do is try to isolate what the issues are with the OSI model, okay? So as we go up the OSI model, if you remember, the first layer we've got is the physical layer. When you call tech support, a lot of times they ask you or even they look for if they're physically able to physically able to come to kind of to, to look at those simple things first. OK, another simple thing to look at is and I will tell you all the cables happen to be correct in this lab, uh, but it is something that you want to go check. Also, the IP addressing on our devices is also important. So let's look at the IP addressing for R1 since that's kind of our main one that everything is connected to our main router. So again, the Enable password, or sorry, the console password is Cisco Con PA55 with a capital C as the Cisco. So Cisco Con PA55. Okay, and you see we get our prompt there. When I type enable, the next password is Cisco ENPA55. Then I get my privileged user exec mode. Okay, so if I go to show run here, I can see most of my configurations um, that will be relevant for this lab. Okay, so when I go to interface G00, I want to make sure that this is configured correctly. Okay, and I see that it is. All right, interface G01 right here. I want to make sure it's configured with this information right here. 172. 16.1.126 they list something different okay so that is wrong that's something we want to change here okay now before we go do other stuff and note other stuff that we need to change I'm gonna like note it and then fix it note it and then fix it so here that's our problem for one of them right there's many issues with this lab so configuration mode and then I'm going to do um, Interface G01 was the one that needed to be fixed. I'm going to do no IP add. That will clear out my IP address, and then I'm going to set it back. One, uh, it's supposed to be 172.16.1.126, 255.255.255.192. Hit enter. And you can exit back out. And you notice we got 9% for that. Okay, so it graded it that we did that correctly now. Now, if we look back up, okay, we changed that one. G02 looks correct based off of that information and my serial interface looks correct based off of that information okay now let's check the IP addressing for our switches okay we got switches here with IP addressing as well so again I need to do that same password the first one is the Cisco with a capital C con PA55 enable then Cisco with a capital C um, ENPA55 or sorry no that one is Cisco with a capital C con PA55 all right so again the console one is Cisco con PA55 once you type enable is Cisco ENPA55 I know, difficult password, but then we go to a show run. The only thing we need to really check here is the default gateway, which we have, and the 
interface VLAN, which looks correct for this one. Let's try switch two. Cisco Con PA55, Cisco EN PA55. Okay, now we do a show run. And it looks like my default gateway is okay. My IP address is okay, but what do you notice about the subnet mask? That one says a dot two twenty four. Okay, this one is a dot one ninety two. So I want to change that. So I need to go to configuration mode, interface VLAN one, no IP add, IP add. 172.16.1.125 and this is the one that I'm setting here 255.255.255.192 okay so now that is correct and then let's just check switch 3 Cisco con PA55 enable Cisco EN PA55 show run and this information right here is correct. So we, we should be good there. Lastly, the last IP address in the really check here, and you can check that side of the network too, but those are okay, um, is IT. Now IT is listed as 192.168.1.1. IT right here should be 172.16.1.1. So that's wrong. So let's change that. Okay. And if you remember, it, we also need to change our default gateway there with it. Okay. So we had to change all of that information. Now let's check marketing. Also, one thing to note too is that we've got both IP version four and IP version six addresses going on. So not only do we need to check the top, we also need to check the next set too. Uh, IP address 172.16.1.65. Um, that looks right. Now we check the bottom. That looks right. R and D. 172.16.1.129.128. Now that's right. Now, one thing I do notice here is this address in particular is wrong over here. So I'm going to just copy and paste it to make it easier. Control C, Control V. They were missing this two here. Okay. So that needs to be corrected. Okay. All right. Now, look at some of the other stuff it tells us. It wants uh, all PC all, uh, all PC should be able to ping each other, but also it wants us to set up SSH into R1 with the username admin1 and encrypted password of admin1 PA55 with capital A's for both. So when we go back to R1, and I'm going to type in Cisco con PA55, enable Cisco um, EN PA55, and do my show run, I don't list, and it's always at the top, I don't have a username and password up here, okay? I need that to be able to log in. So I'm going to go to configuration mode, and I'm going to do username. And it tells me I want my username to be admin1 and my password, but it notes an encrypted password. Now, we did a previous lab where we set up SSH with just a regular password. It wants an encrypted password. If you remember, encrypted passwords are secret, not password. So username admin1 with a capital A, secret admin1 PA55. So secret is just, again, a username or sorry a password that is encrypted automatically so it's like some extra encryption even if you've got service password encryption on there okay we want the stuff to be as encrypted encrypted as possible in today's age now um, we also want to look at our 
remote login. So Lime BTY04 is what we'll be using. Remember, we did say local login local because we wanted to point to our local username and password that we set up. Um, but it says transport input S or sorry, transport input telnet. We want that to say transport input SSH. If it says telnet, it's going to use telnet and it's going to be not secure. So we want to go into line BTY04 and do no transport input telnet, transport input SSH. Okay. And that's going to force it to use that. Okay. Now, we have 100 out of 100 here, but we do want to test to make sure all PCs can ping each other. Successful. Successful. They can ping the router. All right. Um, so, you know, we, we see connectivity is working. Okay. We should also be able to SSH into that one. So if we just try one out. SSH-L, remember our username was admin1, and then we put in our IP address uh, for this part of R1, okay, so what's that, G00, so G00 is 172.16.1.62, hit enter, it asks me for my password, which is admin with a capital A, 1PA55, hit enter, and you now see I can just continue going on configuring my router, all right? And you can do a show run. This is the same stuff that I was looking at on the other router, right? So I am logged in through SSH. And you should be able to do that from each PC. But we've got 100 out of 100 here. That kind of shows you some things. Always only change one thing at a time and then test connectivity. You never want to change too many things because then you won't know what worked or, or what may not have worked. So again, that's just some mindset into troubleshooting and how to fix issues in your network.